With thousands of acres of roadside right-of-way, TxDOT wants to ensure that native vegetation thrives in these areas. It's vital for the environment, including to help with erosion control, but it also allows TxDOT to meet federal mandates for using native plants. This project focuses on the work of researchers at Texas A&M University Kingsville and how their restoration efforts designed to help landowners is now benefiting everyone that travels. What's important about native right-of-way is uh, we, we're getting back to more of a regenerative type of uh, right-of-way where the right-of-way takes care of itself through, um, through nature. It's very important to have the native, native seeds from an area where they originated from and that those plants can perform well there. Uh, the various ecosystems of Texas or ecoregions, if you will, you know, far west Texas has desert grasslands, far east Texas pine woods with a native grass understory and variable rainfall throughout. The different plants just don't perform all the way across the state. The process that Texas Native Seeds uses to develop seed releases that are then used for Texas revegetation and provided to the commercial industry is we have individuals that go out and make collections from wild populations. We then bring that material back, grow it out in the greenhouse. Those populations are then transplanted into the field and data is collected on those transplants for two years and select usually between two and four of those original populations. We grow each of those in isolation for an additional two to five years until we have sufficient enough seed stock on hand to then be able to provide to a commercial grower. When they go out and they test the seed and they look at the seed and they grow the seed out, they make it available, commercially available, where the state of Texas can then, uh, if it be TxDOT or whomever it might be, can come in and purchase that seed for the plantings in the right-of-way. We have six different regional projects within the state of Texas, and, and we station those strategically to get the variable climates and the vari variable ecoregions of the state so that we can test these different seed sources in all areas of the state and see where they can be used and areas where they won't be able to be used. That helps us narrow down the area of adaptation for TxDOT. One of the specific ones that we've been working on recently is pollinator habitat to try and identify those specific species that will provide pollinator habitat. Another one that's been throughout the process is finding height appropriate species. Those species that maintain a lower growth so that we maybe not have to mow as often as we've traditionally done. TxDOT is really utilizing our expertise in native plant development and our ability to test different plants in different ecoregions within Texas to really dial in and create recommendations that they can use to be successful in all the different ecoregions and ecosystems within the state. We've got new projects coming online looking at how uh, we can do different drill seedings, we can do hydro seedings, different application methods. Along with that, we can look at using cover crops or different times of planting. All of those different kind of research methodologies to really figure out how best to establish that vegetation now that the seed's on the commercial market. The direction we're going, I would love to see us to go all native. Is it possible? It's, it's going to be a long haul. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get there. We'll get there. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.